Hello everybody, it's me, TriggerFTU, and we actually got our hands on the GPDG1, and we're gonna see if we need to do a firmware update. And if we do, we're gonna make that happen right here. Let's go ahead and give it a go. We got a few files that we need to download from GPD's website, and we'll make that happen. Okay, as you can clearly see, there's quite a bit going on here. And uh, we need this overlay gone, so what we'll do is we'll turn off the overlay metrics because we won't need it on hand. We can pretty much close this thing out because we won't need it. Anything that can pretty much hurt our chances of doing any updates, we want to stay away from. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to GPD's website and check out the G1. Now, of course, it will link us to this web page and we're going to need to go to our downloads. Now we need to scroll down to the GPD G1 firmware and driver. And of course, we're going to go to VBIOS, VBIOS. And as you can see, it's a new one as of the 12th of September. You hit download. Now, of course, we do have the AMD flash right up here and it's set up for the time frame. We're going to download it. And it'll start downloading the file. We're using 7-Zip. It's a lot more better, faster, more efficient, and it just plain works. 7-Zip, we're going to extract it. Password is, of course, 123456. And, of course, you will see a new file. we got an instruction manual here. And the instruction manual is pretty much simple and straightforward. Tutorial shows that there's files that are on there. Which one of the three? We're going to use the 100-watt variant which is the version that comes normally by default. Now we're gonna update it so that it does this. So update.bat, edit, and let's see if it already has that set up. So let's see here. AMDB flash. We gotta find that area. There we go. There's a part. And we're going to post it. Paste it. There's an application for doing so. Well, let's see if the version that we're looking at is what we need. So, 100 watt. 100 watt. DRT124608. 100 watt, correct. Now, it does say to take all the files and just transfer it. Extract it. Select the desired VBIOS for flashing. Here's how. Right click, auto update, edit on the notepad, and then select. Okay, seems fair, seems logical. After making the modifications, connect the G1 to, the, to a power source, then use the provided USB 4 cable connected to the host device. The host device should be powered on state. Finally, power the G1 until Windows system recognizes it. You'll hear the notification sound. You'll be able to hear the G1 graphics dock in the task manager indicating a successful connection. Flashing it, double click the auto update dot bat. Seems pretty simple, right? So installing all drivers, waiting, press any key to continue. AMD special tool driver, AMD CD, ICD driver is not installed, of course. All right, let's see if that fixed it. Okay, looks like we've made some progress. Make sure you install the driver software. Unsupported GPU. Okay. We're going to restart the computer. 
or the device, and we'll see where it goes from there. All right, so after switching GPU devices or a device that runs an APU instead of a GPU, it's come to my conclusion that you have to have something with an APU that can allow for something like this to work. So, um, as you can clearly see, mine did not come with the newest version. And yeah, now it's actually installing the drivers after installing the appropriate software. And now it's flashing the device. So in essence of it, if you want to flash your G1, you have to have an AMD APU device. So clearly something with, um, I want to say the INEO2, Flashing device, please reboot the system to complete the BIOS update. Press any key to continue. All right, so. Reboot the system. So it does say, so it does say in the BIOS instructions here that after you're done updating and flashing, during this time, note, after successful flash, turn off the power of the docking station and power it on again. So we'll have to power it off and power it back on. Now, taking a look here, it shows we just have to reboot. We'll reboot the system completely. But now it shows the newest BIOS version and says detected APU GPU existing Internal firmware 22.3.130.01. Meaning that it is complete. It's done. So, what we'll do is we're going to turn off our system here. We're going to turn off our GPDG1 and then we're going to reboot it and give it a go with the uh, INEO2. Anyways, guys, that's how you update the firmware. Of course, you need to make sure that you have several things that are set up for the device so that you can update the firmware. One of them being you have to be running an AMD based APU, GPU or something equivalent that runs basically AMD software integrated. It, it, it's 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 it just gets blocked by Intel with the GPD Win 3 because the control panel the primary gpu that's in there is an intel based gpu so with that said make sure you're running it on something that runs an amd based gpu with that said i hope you guys enjoyed the video and the how to on how to be able to install the firmware for your bios for your gpd g1 and update it don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and like always keep being awesome